Hello and welcome back to another tutorial in the Unreal Engine. Uh, this will be a quick tutorial about um, a pushback and knockback system uh, which I used for my mobile game which I'm working on. Uh, and yes, we will look how it looks right now and how it will be be made in the Unreal Engine blueprints. Let's see. We have two different um, knockbacks. We have a simple knockback from a light punch and a hard knockback from uh, it's the same but the hard knockback is even more stra uh, even more stronger. So when they now come back I can punch them easily with the light knockback and they, if they come nearer I can punch them harder so they really get far away there so um, yeah if, if we now punch harder you can see they will pushed get pushed away like hell and if we now look to the other thing the other pushback, the other knockback, it's um, yeah something like an air strike, which uh, make yourself jumping and time delayed, and then you crush into the ground, <laughs> flipping all those guys up. As you can see, um, and yeah, that's the mechanic now let's see how this works in the blueprint so here we are in the blueprint of the enemy now we go into the light knockback function and we see um, you just simply get the player character which leads into the get the forward vector so the um, I would say look um, the view where you look if you just stand normally straight forward um, this is multiplied by um, here is it a random float in range because you want to defer so it doesn't look so static if they get pu pushed back so and the one is pushed 200 units and the other one would be pushed 300 units so it's more more and more yeah flexible there um, and we make a vector addition to that with the location of the player character so you don't push them to the origin of the scene uh, and we set this as a push uh, pushback location because um, if you just use this this pin like the actor forward vector when you go into this timeline um, it always phases the um, the actor so the enemy with you so if you turn right and left you you take him with you this this looks very weird um, yes, this state thing is something for the whole enemy. This not belongs here in general. Um, so we go into the pushback timeline, and you see the pushback as itself just lasts uh, one second and a half, and it has a um, a fast at the beginning till the mid, and then. It uh, flattens from its strength. Yeah. And then you make a set actor location and update everything. So w while it plays from the start, it sets the actor location from the current location of the actor to the pushback location we just uh, made 
and as the alpha we take the new track which we created in the timeline itself. We select the location is self so we could also make it a self reference and yeah that's it I guess. Um, now to the airstrike. Um, the airstrike it looks a little bit weird here but I will tell you how this works. Um, I made it into a branch which calls a random bool. So if you just push like one launch character and you make a launch velocity from a random floating range from minus 600 to plus 600, you sometimes have. Um, like 0x and a thousand z value so it it just jumps up this looked a little bit stupid so i made two launch characters and a random bool so it chooses whether it takes him to the left or the right side um, you can see the active forward vector of the of the um, character of the enemy and you multiply this value of x and z so to the left and right we have here to the uh, to the left the random float in range uh, from 400 to 600 as x value and from 500 to, to, to 1200 in the z value so if you stand here the character and you jump right into him he pushes in the z direction like 500 and 2200 1200 and to the left side from 400 to 600 same as on the other side the random float in range um, for the other bool is the launch velocity on the x side um, so to this side uh, minus 400 to minus 600 and the z value so the updraft would be 500 to 1100 this is um, how this whole knockback thing works here and I hope you enjoyed this video feel free to like or comment it um, yeah have a nice day.